we're gonna work a little top stuff here, right? This is a bar arm and half. I'm gonna show you how this works and um, give a little troubleshooting to it, okay? Because there's gonna be some positions that uh, sort of evaporate on you if things are actually too tight, which is kind of a paradox for this move. You figure yourself like, well, if it's too tight, wouldn't it work to your advantage? Well, you'll see here in a second how it could be a little bit of a problem. So I got Mike, whatever breakdown I use, I chop and bump him, he's down to his belly. Maybe he's basing his hands out. I come here, I go knuckle line grip, I pull this back. I'm looking for maybe wrist control here. And once here, I slip my bar arm in, okay? So I never wanna go up high here, it's a chicken wing. This right here was, will get me uh, potentially dangerous and the referee will not allow me to continue. So my arm has to stay flat across the back, okay? Most of the time he knows that if I go to run the bar arm, I could turn him by coming off to the side. So what he's gonna do is to defend the arm, he's trying to drop his left hip to look the other way. Yes, exactly. And most of the time when that happens, I can hop over and there's gonna be some space here and I can go ahead and slap on a half Nelson. Now here's the paradox I was talking about before. It's gonna be hard to turn him to his back with my arm dominating his left arm. So if I wanna go to my left and I have his left arm compromised, you're gonna see here, it's, it's very difficult. It's not impossible. Especially if you have long arms, but it's difficult, right? So most of the time, once I seed this for this uh, really good have Nelson in, I like to make a fist here and put it in the back of its head just to crank his head down with a little extra leverage. Now from here, I release the bar arm and I block his his humerus here, right? Why? So I can settle back and really sink in the have Nelson to drive him over, and I keep this block until boom, my head can go to the head, to the mat and I can elevate. Okay, Let's try one more time. The other side. I'm here. I chop and bump. I get my flat. He's based down. I grab this. I pull it in. And I slip in a bar arm. He drops that hip to defend. That's definitely a predictable consequence. Now look at the window that is open up here. So what I do is I step over. I straddle his hips. I throw in the half Nelson. All right. Can I slip all the way over and run him from here? I can. Sometimes if I run an arc around his head, almost like I'm doing a a, a double bar arm or a bar arm back hook. Sometimes if I just sort of run around, right? But look at my hip position, it's kind of inferior, it's kind of not a great spot to be in. I'm kind of off to the side. However, I still maintain control of the arm. So usually what I do is as I'm tipping him up, I'll ditch this and I'll block. Why? So now I can really get invested and get behind my half Nelson. This arm slips in super deep. As you can see here, my elbow is to the mat. Now I drive. Forward, 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 head goes to the mat. I'm wide base in the back, lift up and 